Alyssa. Bless. Thank you so much for being here with me today. All right. I'm sending you love and light your way. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you like my content. If you like um, my energy all right here, I like to do pick a card readings and horoscope readings. So it could be either or right now. All right. If it is a pick a card reading, please make sure to resonate with your pile. I usually put an object for you to choose with. All right. Pause the video if you need more time. All right. Timestamps. All my detail information is down below in the description. Private readings candle sales all that stuff all right i make spiritual manifestation candles you find that down below as well all right guys i want to say thank you so much for being here for my ogs what's going on all right i love you guys Mwah. all right so yeah guys um please make sure to like share comment subscribe hit the bell button leave me a comment i like to chat all right hi my beautiful souls it's your girl jalissa how are you guys doing welcome to my channel okay so today we're doing a pick a card reading regarding what is your person currently feeling at this moment for you all right so if you're new to my channel welcome my name is jalissa all right if you're a returning viewer what's going on my ogs okay so today we have three piles to select with i put an object for you to select with all right so part one we got blow pop okay part two we have oreo okay and part three we have bubble yum all right <laughs> i'm gonna leave this view for a few seconds so you guys could choose part one part two part three timestamps are down below per the usual okay in the description box and um, I just want to give a quick shout out to everyone that has been riding this wave with me. Thank you so much for being part of the community, for being part of my channel. I love you guys and I am so appreciative. All right. Thank you for those who have subscribed, liked, comment and shared my videos. My shop is now back open, by the way, guys. My manifestation shop, which is Jalissa Manifestations on Etsy. The link is down below as well. So if anybody's interested in buying spiritual candles, manifestation candles, spiritual baths, bundles, whatever, I have a lot of stuff over there. Go check it out. All right. It's good for self. And if you want to give a gift to someone else. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to get into the reading now. All right. <laughs> there is going to be an extended for those who are interested in that. The link will be down below as usual. All right, all right, guys, let's get it, let's go. I will see you at your pile. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading, all right? Thank you so much for being with here with me today. Okay, so let's get your angel number first, all right? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. Please give me the angel number for pile one. Okay, pile one. Pile one's number is three one two one all right 31 21 is your angel number pa one all right go on to google put 31 21 angel number meaning and bam there goes your message from spirit <laughs> all right guys for my ogs it feels so good to be back <laughs> all right you guys you guys chose the blow pop cherry flavor lipstick let me put some on my lips are a little trapped <laughs> yeah so this is like mm, very popular on demand blow pop all right so there's something i feel like in this connection there's something there's something very sweet about what this person feels for you it's as if this person sees you and they feel that a lot of people want you they feel that you're very favored okay we're definitely going to do live shuffling as to what your person is feeling for you. And I also have these oracle cards, which we're going to um, unfold. Or Actually, let me unfold it now. Makes sense. All right. And um, we'll talk about it after I do the live shuffle with the tarot. All right. I have two songs for you guys, pile one. You guys got two songs for this reading. Okay. And. yeah all right so when it comes to your person paul one i see that your person is a very 
mysterious type of person your person really enjoys the unknown um for some of you guys are really into like mysteries like unsolved mysteries ufos like the unknown in general this person is fantasize they fantasize not fantasize but they're what would, what would be the word they're very interested in this type of stuff okay i don't have that word right now oh what we got here uh-huh someone's being very cold right now i see also holding back what they currently feel all right but this person has some type of psychic ability by the way i don't know if you know this but this person does get a lot of messages from the universe they're very much connected to the universe and the cosmos and they have that healing energy as well this could be very much a soulmate twin flame connection this person is very interested in revealing the truth this person feels like everything is especially with people is a mystery all right um this person is definitely a star seed by the way there's a lot of shadow work that has to be done in this lifetime for your person. So your person's going through a little bit of a journey with their shadow work. All right. There's a lot of a lot of knowledge. I'm hearing like Akashic records. All right. I'm hearing that this person has a lot of knowledge within them that they're opening up to or learning at this time as they're doing their shadow work. So there were there was some type of awakening. This could have either been triggered by you or just the connection in general or in their life. But this person is going through an awakening. They definitely do see spirits. I don't know if they told you this, all right? And um, yeah, this person is just very interested, very intrigued with the unknown, all right? With spirits, with the universe, all right? Wow, and the world pops out, all right? So definitely, I'm getting that sense. And this person, I feel like, honestly feels like you and them make a perfect match, all right? Because I got the King of Swords. I seen the Queen of Swords, all right? So you or your person could be an air sign or have this within your chart. But they feel like you guys would be like a power couple, all right? So let's get into their feelings. What are they feeling about you right now, all right? So Spirit, Ancient Ancestors, Universe, Spiritual Guys, Angels, please come through and help me channel the message here for Power One and their person. What is their person currently feeling at this time? All right, air signs, by the way, is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> okay, so what is Paul One's person currently feeling at this time for Paul One? Besides the fact that they're hiding what they truly feel. <laughs> they're wearing a mask, all right? Judgment. All right, so there could have been something in the past that occurred between you and your person. And they they want the phoenix vibe they want to rebirth this connection up out of the ashes all right they may have gotten some type of karma because of the way they treated you the way they treated this connection or what happened here all right but i am seeing that this person really wants to speak their truth to you this person feels like they have to tell you the truth about something they have to be honest with you in order to have this new beginning with you and this is what they're feeling at this time Right now, your person is isolating themselves on purpose, all right? This person is at a distance because they currently feel like they need to go within. They need to understand this connection more, understand why this connection goes so deep, why they feel so much emotion for you, why there's so much passion, why there's so much thoughts about you, like why they feel so connected. This is what they're stressing in their mind while they're out of space from you, all right? This person was very sneaky. This person um, could have put you in a very awkward situation where you didn't really know what was going on behind the scenes. This person was being a trickster. All right. So right now, your person really just wants to apologize to you for causing all of this hurt and pain that they may have brought to you. Because I feel like they were not showing you their authentic self. All right. They had a little bit of a trickster in them. And they weren't being completely honest with you, which led to, which could have led to like a separation or some type of fallout here. And now they just want to basically rebirth this. They want a chance to like make things right. They weren't being a, as good as they probably came off to be in the beginning. And this is what they want to come back to talk to you about and let you know that they've been thinking about this very deeply 
and they're acting as if they don't care. They're acting as if it doesn't bother them. They're being cold, they're being distant, but it's all a facade. This person can't stop thinking about you. You are a wish fulfillment for this person, all right? This person thinks that, you know, they feel like you're their gift that fell from the gods, all right? You were sent to them from heaven, from wherever they feel, you know, <laughs> a gift from the gods will come from, all right? Because this person is very mysterious. This person believes in a lot of different things, which I love. They're very open-minded. And they truly do feel like you were sent to them from above. You were sent to them. You are a soulmate. You are a twin flame. And this is a meant to be type of journey for you too. They didn't treat it as such in the past, but you know, they do feel it. And they do feel bad for not treating you as they should have. All right. Um, there's a lot of love being withheld. So it's kind of like the, you see with the Titanic and you see the iceberg how it looks so small, but it's so big and it could cause so much pain. Like how it made that ship sink. All right. Um, they made it seem like it may have not bothered them. Like it was so small and everything's all good and they're all right. But in all reality, their ship sunk and there was a lot of pain behind that. A lot of pain about what they felt in this connection, how things flowed. All right. Yeah. This is like, I love the art in this deck. This is on um, Tattoo Tarot. Um, I just need to see what exactly um, this card is here. Mm. Yeah. All right, so this person totally feels like they're out in the cold. They want to come inside is what they feel. It's like they feel like you're home. And if they're not inside, they don't feel complete. So this person, what they're feeling inside right now is like, I want to come inside, babe. I want to come inside. All right. And they want to come in pretty fast. All right. So for the majority of you guys here, Paul one, you can expect this person to fly in any minute, fly in pretty fast, very passionately to ask you for this rebirth of the connection. Okay. Because they see you as a star. They see you as this very healing person. You have like... For the majority, you guys could be healers, work in the health field, or actually heal people, um, Reiki masters, um, tarot readers, you know, um, something of that, of that nature. You're a light worker, or you have light worker capabilities, because this person feels like you're a star, like you're really a healing person, like you heal them whenever they're near you. They feel like they heal, like things just get so much better, all right? And they want to move to calmer waters with you. They do. They want to They want to move forward. They don't want to stay stuck in this energy of being away from you. And they are stressed. They're very stressed. This person is very stressed. What is this? Yeah, the high priest is in reverse. They're stressed because, like I said, you guys have a very high healing capacity capability like you guys are healers i'm i'm convinced i know because i'm seeing it all right so what your person feels right now is stress because they weren't honest with you they they tricked you and they're stressed because they're out in the cold they want to come inside and they just feel really poor and really bad really down and out because you took your energy away from this person you took a step back. You're focusing on self. You're at a distance from this person. And this person is obviously at a distance from you. You guys went in. You guys are both going within. So you guys are both healing in a sense. All right. But what I'm seeing is that your person knows that they self-sabotage themselves here in this connection. And they feel they feel really down and out about it, honestly. Um I'm getting a lot of like distance energy. So some of you guys could be at a distance from this person, like physically at a distance, all right? But this person would like to like honestly like just take a trip away with you. They want to they want to rebirth this connection. And if they can, they would like to take a holiday with you. They would like to go away with you and have like a moment alone which with just you and them alone, like a little vacation. All right. <laughs> All right. You opened up this person's heart chakra. FYI. 
all right so you open up their heart chakra you are definitely a healer you're very intuitive you have healing capabilities this person sees you as the goddess of the moon all right they see you as the high priestess they see you as this person that has a lot of capabilities of healing people or just helping people overall you have a very powerful um energy within you all right they feel that you're very disconnected to them though like when it comes to them, you're disconnected. You're not giving them your energy. You're not showing them what you feel. And therefore, they're stressed, all right? I just saw 1222, by the way. Um, your song was, or is, <laughs> Rihanna, Shut Up and Drive. I've been looking for a driver who is qualified. So if you think you're the one, step into my ride. I'm a fine-tuned supersonic speed machine. Got a sunroof top and a gangster lean. So if you feel it, let me know. No, no. All right, so this person is basically saying they're a little bit of a rebel. <laughs> For some of you guys, this person does have like a supersonic speed machine, a very fast car, flashy car, or like something very flashy they drive or whatever. And they're just saying like, listen, just shut up and drive. Like, do you qualify to be my person? Let's go. I don't want to argue about this. I just want to move forward. <laughs> All right. And then we have Jay Holiday suffocate. Now, even though I try to play it off, they're hiding their feelings, right? I'm thinking about you all day long. And I can't wait for Shorty to come through from your lips and back up to your eyes. My hands on your hips when we grind. I'm fantasizing about what I'm gonna do to you. All right, so this person is suffocating without you. And they're fantasizing about you, babe. They love you. They love your eyes. They love your lips. They love your hips. They love you. Just they love your not just how you are on the outside. You're very attractive. To, like this person finds you very attractive. Not just that you're very attractive, like you're so good looking, but internally you are such a good person you have such a good soul and it's like this person is just like suffocating without you like they need you and they need your energy they need your love all right and last but not least they're saying i love you love i love you way more than i ever let you on basically let you know all right so this person really loves you they really love you more than they even let you know all right, I'm going to pull a message, what this person would like to say from my message deck. Well, not even my message deck. Where is my message deck? You know, I haven't pulled my message deck in a minute. Oh, here it is. Hold on. Yeah, let's pull from my message deck. All right. <laughs> I made this deck. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what your person wants to say. All right, so spirit, ancient, ancestors, your spiritual guides. I cut my nails, guys, yeah. A girl's healing, so I can't have my flashy nails. All right, so spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. What would Paul One's person like to say today? Paul One's person. I knew what I was doing. They were tricking you. They were being a trickster. They knew what they were doing. Trust me, we will reconcile. Um, I hope we can still be friends. And in the back of the deck, I love you again. They love you again. All right, so they're telling you twice that they love you. Trust them. You guys will reconcile. They knew what they were doing. And they hope that you could forgive them, basically, by saying, I hope we can still be friends. All right. <laughs> Aw. All right, so let's go into Charmies now, guys. So I am definitely going to do an extended if you're interested in that, the link is down below. In the extended, I'm basically going to pull um, what you can expect next from this person, this connection. Like, what's coming next? Little forecast, all right? I'm going to pull more messages from your person and advice from the universe, okay? So, let's get it. Let's go. The charmies are loud. If you're sensitive to noise, you may want to lower it now, okay? Ready, set, go. Very ancient ancestors, universe, for the guys. Please come through and help me channel the Charmies for Paul 1. Well, two Charmies already fell out. Cool. Da 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 da. I want to sell my new cards. Wow, I just threw in my cards. Alright, so there's that. I 
put in some new um baby tarot decks so well baby tarot cards so it's like i want some of my new cards like hey that ain't good in there all right Paolo, let's get it let's go let's see what's going on here all right we're gonna start with the baby tarot and then we're gonna go into initials and then we'll go into the charmies all right so let me see hold on let me flip this over you see some of the baby tarots are old some of them are new yeah i put some new ones in there all right, so yeah, there's definitely heartbreak coming out here. Um, heartbreak due to a third party, all right? A very tough ending. Someone feeling like they got backstabbed here, all right? This is definitely a soulmate. This person wants to reconcile. They're willing to fight for this connection. It's been a battle, but they want to fight for it. They want a brand new beginning, and they want it to be long-term. They want to give back and balance this connection. All right, we have one more baby tarot. And yeah, basically they just want to balance this connection. They want to come back to you. They want to come back and balance things out. All right, so let's see what the initials are here. All right, we have P as in Paul, Patrick, Peter. We have N as in Nancy, Nando, Nathan. We have Y as in Yo-Yo, Yalisa, Jessica. We have P again. We have M as in Mike, Mary, Monica, Mitchell, Martin. We have G as in Gary, George, Greg, um, Grace, Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch. I love that movie. Maybe you guys watched The Grinch together. All right, Z as in Zebra, Zale, Zena. Q as in Quinn, Quintel, Queen. All right, H as in Harry, Helen, Harry, Hector, Hilton, all right. T as in Tom, Tiffany, um, Tim, Thomas. W as in Washington, Wanda, Wendell, um, Wendy, Williamson, William. D as in David, Daniel, Denise, Doug, um, Davidson, all right. We got another M. We got another Z. All right, any other letters? No other letters? Mm. By the way, in the reading, um, as far as signs that came out, we had air, we had fire, we had earth, and we have water. So we have like every sign, by the way. Um, Just throwing it out there. All right, <laughs> we got C for Chris, Charles, Cynthia, Christian, um, Cindy, um, Charles, I think I said Charles already. All right, we have another M. We have a lot of M's. All right, so that's pretty much it for the initials. Now let's get into the charmies. This person definitely has a lot of love for you, all right? This connection is very spiritual, all right? Soulmate twin flame. Your person wants to build with you, all right? They want to build something like a foundation, something real here, all right? They're, they're saying that you are definitely enough. If you ever doubted yourself, check yourself, okay? This person dreams about you a lot, all right? Weakness is a choice, all right? So this person may have made some weak-ass choices, um, but it was their choice, all right? You are definitely, again, enough for this person, and they dream a lot about you, all right? This person finds you beautiful, handsome, for sure. All right, so you're very attractive. Um, This is a past life connection. You guys have known each other in another lifetime. All right, so you guys definitely, when y'all met, things felt very real. Things felt very, wow, like, I feel like I know this person, and it's because you do. All right, made with love. This situation was made with love. Some of you guys are dancers or you like are you're in the music industry, you like to dance, you're into music. All right. So spirit is saying to tap in, tap into music, dance a little. You guys are warriors. You've been through a lot and you're still standing tall. This person really admires this about you. You guys are definitely soulmates, twin flames, like I said. Okay. <laughs> this person is very sexually attracted to you and they want to be intimate with you all right they want a nut this person right now is resting they're trying to heal from something they went through and um they're processing at this time okay your person is has a lot of gratitude for have 
meeting you, for meeting you in, or having you in their life. There's a lot of gratitude, all right? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when you're around, all right? So you make this person very happy. You are their sunshine, all right? This person feels like you're definitely a go-getter. Whatever you set your mind to, you really put in your whole effort into it. And they really admire this, all right? Strong is beautiful. You're strong. This person not only finds you beautiful because of your exterior, but also because of your interior, okay? Okay. All right, you or your person could be a Virgo. Your person feels like you're very practical. You or your person could be a Libra, and your person feels like you're very charming. You or your person could be a Sagittarius, and your person feels like you're very optimistic. All right, we got Virgo again. And we got Virgo again. We got Virgo twice. Well, three times. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> All right. So, guys, now I'm going to go off to the extended. All right. So, thank you so much for being here with me. If this resonated with you, please give it a like so I know for a fact that, you know, I'm doing my thing here. Okay. And um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell button. Let me know that you did so, so I could write back to you and say hello. All right, my OGs, how you doing? Thank you, thank you for being here with me today, guys. I am definitely healing right now. I had surgery not too long ago, so I am taking things slow, but I am trying to be active, and I'm trying to still be here active in the community. All right, guys, and I love you. Mwah. So if I see you in the extended, um, the link is down below for that. Bless. If I don't, I'm wishing you guys all the best. Take care. Mwah. Sending you love, light, and everything nice. <laughs> Hi, Patu. How are you doing, sweetheart? I hope everything's good. I hope everything is going well for you. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and help me channel the message here today for pile two. All right, pile two. So first, I'm going to do your angel number. Every time I shake, I move the table. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please give me the angel number for part two. Okay, part two. Part two, your angel number is four, two, four, six. All right, 4246 is your angel number, part two. Go on to Google, put 4246, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your message. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get it let's go you guys chose oreo all right so things could appear different on the outside than was really on the inside when it comes to this connection guys all right some of your peoples are mixed <laughs> all right They're getting that chocolate vanilla vibe okay okay all right so i'm gonna lay out the oracle cards that i pulled out for this connection and then i'm gonna um shuffle live to get what your person is currently feeling in this connection right now all right so just a little bit of a background when it comes to your person um i see that your person has like a very high subconscious all right so spirit ancient ancestors you know, spiritual guys angels your person is very like compassionate your person has big dreams your person definitely believes in karma and there's a lot of forgiveness here that your person, like your person has a big, big heart and they carry around a lot of baggage. All right. Um, your person believes a lot in the unknown and your person really does believe in healing and your person is very spiritual deep down inside. All right. Your person is going through a healing process right now. Shadow of the Nights type energy. All right. And there is some type of spiritual development going on right now. There's a lot of guilt about the past here. Your person definitely does pray. And there is a lot of, like, your person is very connected to the universe. And they have a lot of wisdom. They have an, a lot of knowledge within, all right? Akashic Records is definitely coming through with that 12th house, all right? So there's a lot of um needing to surrender, all right, but let's see what's going on with this connection with your person. All right, so spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and help me channel the message here for Pal Two and their person. What is Pal Two's person currently feeling for Pal Two? All right, I also see that your person, you and your person, you guys are in a soulmate connection. All right, so this is like soulmate twin flame vibes. 
all right your person feels like you're very regardless whether you're female or male your person feels like you're very upset with them at this time like you're very angry you're very upset with them like you're not really happy with them at this time okay they do see you as a very caring person a very healing person but right now they're very down and out they feel there's a little bit of a low-key depression coming through all right this person feels a little bit ignored by you due to the fact that you're upset with them or you're angry at them for some reason all right you guys are very compassionate people you're very caring you're very giving but when you're not happy with someone <laughs> let's just say the dragons come out all right so this person is very fearful of you at this time all right um this person is also very stubborn. So right now, your person is feeling very down and out. Very much that low-key depressed vibe where they're very sad. They're very, like, in the poopy vibes, like, down, low vibrations. All right? They do find you very attractive, though. And they want to communicate really quickly with you. All right? There's communication coming in pretty quickly. All right? About what they're feeling and what they want here with you, pal, too. Yeah, they want to communicate. They want to talk to you about moving forward. Basically, they're they're going to they're going to want to talk to you about having patience with them that they know that they could be stubborn and that they could be a little bit confused at the moment, but they want to talk to you about a child and they also want to talk to you about um having patience with them that they're evolving, that they're transforming, that they're changing and to have faith in them. All right? This person is very manipulative when it comes to love. They have a lot of love for you, but they don't show it. It's kind of like that iceberg vibe where you just see the tip of the iceberg. You don't see the whole iceberg underneath. It's really more than what it, what meets the eye. All right, so this person really does have a lot of love for you, and they don't demonstrate it. They hide it within, all right? And this person may have walked away from you, walked away from the connection, but I see your person coming back because they have some type of epiphany while not being with you, they learned something and they had like an aha moment, all right? So they learned something while being apart from you, being away from you. And they want to talk to you about it. They're really passionate about you. They're very passionate about the connection. Um, and they're very attracted to you. Very sexually attracted to you, for sure. This person is just like, you know, a little stubborn, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, have, they give me that stubborn energy, like... And because they're stubborn, they got into the situation with you where you're pissed at them. All right? Aw, you guys are soulmates, twin flames, okay? That twin flame energy. Yeah, your person wants to communicate with you really quickly because they want union. They want union. They want reconciliation if you guys are apart because I'm seeing that there could be some mm -hmm. distance for some of you guys here. All right? They're afraid, though. They have to make a change. They want union. They're going to call you and contact you. However they contact you, they're going to come forward and speak to you about the fact that they want this union with you. They see marriage with you. They see commitment with you. Um, For some of you guys, your person is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a fire sign, all right? Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right? But we have other signs on the table as well. But I'm getting that um very strongly. We have Earth, a lot of Earth too. All right, so that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But what I'm seeing here is that your person wants union with you. Your person does want to celebrate this connection. Your person needs to make a change, all right? Your person feels very vulnerable right now. And they feel like they need to hide this love that they feel for you for some reason. And what they feel is like, when it comes to you, they feel very amateur, they feel very vulnerable. They feel like they don't have enough strength internally to deal with a person or a connection like this because they feel like you're much more than them internally, spirit-wise, all right? This person is like having like an awakening as we speak. Like they're awakening and I feel like you, Paltu, have already awakened or have already tapped into your spiritual path or your journey here so i feel like you're more advanced than this person that's how they see you and they see you as their ideal person they see you as their their person that they will settle down with and marry and they want to talk to you about this 
but they have to make some type of change and they're scared about it whatever you experienced with this person in the past um i feel like they went through like some type of tower moment where things may have got may have broken down between you and them and it caused like a lot of chaos and they had to make some type of change in order for things to flourish here but they're scared to make it let me see talk to me about this tower spirit talk to me about this tower the sun yeah you make them so happy talk to me about the tower you make them so happy and they do want they're happily ever after here with you. That's clear. All right. The four of swords in reverse. Yeah, this person has been trying to heal. This person has been trying to do their shadow work. But it's like they don't want to stay in this healing energy. They want to move forward towards you. They don't want to um stay away from you for too long. That's what I'm seeing. And they see you as a very smart person. They feel like you're very wise. You're very smart. Um, you're a person that doesn't really play any games. Like, you're very giving. You're very caring. You're very passionate. But you don't play any games. You don't let people take you for a fool. Okay? Um, so, yeah. Like, this is what I'm seeing what your person is feeling right now. And your person is really trying to manifest you. They see you as their soulmate, their twin flame, however it goes. And they're visualizing themselves with you, like how life would be with you, how they would be, how it would be to be married to you, how it would be to have a family with you. They envision all of this, even children. And they want it. I just see that they're a little bit afraid about making some type of change in their life. All right. So that's why this person is a little manipulative and a little standoffish because they're not 100% sure. And then we also have that indecision card, which is the eight, you know, and the eight for me is, um, the reason they walked away is because they weren't sure about what they wanted, whether they wanted to go left, whether they wanted to go right. And they're coming back though, because they made their decision. They just have to make some type of change here. All right. Your song for this reading is Adele, Someone Like You. All right, I hate to turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I had hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded for me, it isn't over. Never mind. I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you too. All right, so this person is just like, that's that, it's like an indecisive vibe. It's like, I want you, I don't care what you think, I'm coming over, I'm going to show up, pop up my face, and here I am, what you're going to do, but then it's like, oh, you don't want me, all right, cool, I'm going to go figure it out and find someone else just like you, and it's just like, they know what they want, and they're just scared to go for it, and that's the, really the energy I'm getting here, because I see it for ones, they want you, they want marriage, they want union, they want connection here, and they're coming in fast to talk to you about it, but then... You know, and they're coming back towards you because they did walk away because they were indecisive, but they're scared to make a change here. So it's like they're still in that limbo, but they're more on the yes than the no side. OK, and they're saying family. I'm scared what they will say. All right. So family could be an issue here. What their family will say about you, Patu. OK, I say who cares? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this is between you and them, not you and their family at the end of the day right everybody has their issues that they don't talk about <laughs> i see it that way all right so anyway let's see what your person wants to say to you spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guides well that popped up pretty fast i want to return all the love and p compassion you gave me all right so that you gave this person a lot and they want to return that mm -hmm. i settled for the wrong life Okay. Maybe they settled for the wrong thing, person, life. I feel right now wouldn't be a good time to come together. You didn't deserve what I did to you. All right. So they're feeling like right now wouldn't be the best time, but they know they settled for the wrong life and they want to give you back. They want to give back all that love and compassion to you. And it's true. I see it here. It's just like this person is like swinging. It's like they're swinging more towards yes, though, than no. I'll tell you that much. 
Okay. <laughs> so let's get into the charmies. Let's see what the charmies have to say. All right. Guys, I will definitely have an extended for those of you who are interested. The link is down below. I'm going to I'm going to read more on to like what you can expect next with this person, what's coming, you know, the tea and um more messages from your person and a message from the universe just for you, pal too. Okay? Okay. All right, so let's get into the charmies. If you're sensitive to noises when you want to lower the volume, and I just saw 1333 by the way. All right, so Ready, set, go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, see them through a hundred channel of charming for part two. Alright, part two. Alright, part two. Oh. Okay. Let me zoom in. Alright. Hello, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Okay, if you like my content so far, you should subscribe and let me know in the comment section that you did so, so I could say hello. All right, my OGs, what's going on, baby? How y'all doing? All right, I hope everyone's blessed. I hope everyone's okay. Your girl is definitely recovering right now from surgery, so like, you know, thank you guys for being there and just having patience with me and stuff like that, you know, you know? All right, <laughs> so we're going to do baby tarot first, and then we're going to get into the initials, and then we're going to go into the charmies. As you can see, there's old baby tarot, and then there's new baby tarot. I'm about to get rid of all the old baby tarot because they are washed up. All right, anyway, so yes, there was a lot of fears here. Your person had a lot of mental fears in this connection, all right? A lot of stress, a lot of mental fears. They were giving their energy to like more than one more than one thing at a time and this is why they were acting a fool and things just didn't go the way they should have in this connection all right your person does want to work towards this connection though they feel like they backstabbed you like you guys had a very salty ending and their heart is broken okay this heartbreak could have been due to a third party for some of you guys all right i do see your person your person is very passionate your person looks really good and your person has a little bit of a player, play girl, play boy mentality, okay? So that really did affect the connection. All right, so let's go into initials. All right, so we have Q, Queen, Quintel, Quinesha. All right, we have J for Junior, Justin, Jacob, Jonathan, Jade, okay? Jalissa, <laughs> ow. All right, we got C for Charles, Christopher, Christian, um... Chanel, all right, um, G for George, Gary, Grace, um, Gretchen, Gary, E for Edward, Elizabeth, Edison, um, Elliot, um, Ethan, all right, Ellen, P for Paul, Patricia, Patrick, um, Penelope, okay, D for David, Daniel, Denise, Douglas, okay, and what else? And that's pretty much it. All right, so let's go into the Charmies. So your person, your person, all right, so what the universe is saying right now is like, listen, babe, you are manifesting right now, right? Focus on your goals, focus on your, whatever it is that you're manifesting because they're about to make a wish come true for you, Okay. Okay, you heard it here first. All right, you or your person can have um, live, love, laugh in your house. All right, I sure do. All right, um, your person is currently resting, healing from what they feel they have gone through in life, which is a lot. All right, now they're thinking about love. This person made decisions based off other things, not love. And now they're thinking about love. All right, they want to communicate. They're coming in pretty fast. They feel like they need to tell you something, tell you how they feel. Something's about to happen right now, very significantly in this connection. Something right now is going to be very significant. All right, you guys are definitely um, soulmate twin flames. You come from the same soul family, all right? So you're solely connected. You guys could resonate as mermaids, mermans, however it goes. Connected to the ocean, yamaye, all right? Your person finds you very mysterious, very alluring, very seductive. 
All right, you're definitely enough for this person. Your connection is pro your connection with this person is protected by the gods. All right, by ancient ancestors, angels, your spirit team. Okay, I choose strength. All right, this person is choosing to be strong now. All right, maybe in the past they made decisions off weakness. All right, they're hoping for the best here. Your person sees you as young and strong. You have a very strong young spirit. All right. You are definitely intuitive. Some of you guys here are light workers, healers of some sort. And what Spirit is saying is like, listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. So is your person. Your person is right. You guys are both very spiritual. You guys both have some type of spiritual capabilities, spiritual gifts. All right. And you both are very intuitive. All right. But Spirit is asking you to listen to your intuition when it comes to this connection. All right. Time is of the essence. Divine timing is at work here. All right. And the wheel is turning and it's turning twice in your favor. So something very favorable is about to happen for you guys, pal, too. It's a time for success, a time for abundance. All right. Never, never give up. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not give up on what you love in life. OK. And we have here you or your person could be a Taurus and your person feels like you're very trustworthy. You or your person could be a Gemini and your person feels like you're very intelligent. All right, so this could be your sign, their sign, or within your charts, okay? Bam! <laughs> All right, guys, so now I'm going to go up to the extended where I'm going to go into what is to be expected next in this connection, Paul 2, what your person's going to do, what's going to happen, the juice, the tea, etc. more messages from your person, and a message from the universe just for you, Paul 2. So if you're interested in that, the link is down below, but... If this is where we part ways, thank you so much for being here with me, Pal 2. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right. I'm sending you guys love, light, and everything nice. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Let me know that you did so so I can say hello. If you're a returning viewer, what's going on, my OGs? Okay. I love you guys, and I'm wishing you guys nothing but the best. Mwah. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Pal 3. How are you doing, sweetheart? Welcome to your reading. Okay, I'm going to start your reading with your angel number. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. What is the angel number for Paul? Three. All right. So your angel number, Paul, three is going to be one, six, three, three. All right. 1633. You're going to go on to Google, put 1633, angel number meaning. Bam. There goes your message from spirit. <laughs> all right guys so let's get it let's go you guys chose bubble yum bubble bubble yum bubble yum all right as your pile all right flavor lip balm bubble gum all right so i feel like some of you guys could have like a very bubbly personality or have like a very fun bubbly like nature this person really likes your personality how outgoing and fun you are all right, all right, so I'm going to lay out the oracle cards that I pre-shuffled, and then we're going to shuffle live for what your person's feeling, all right? It all plays into the reading, all right? I do this first, um, and then we go into exactly what your person is feeling. Then we're going to pull some messages from your person, what your person would like to say, et cetera, et cetera, all right? Thank you guys for being here with me today. Let's get it, let's go. All right, guys. So I see your person, right? Spirit, ancient ancestors, and your spiritual guides. Your person is really, <laughs> um, with that Mars action, that action energy. Your person has a lot of desires in life. All right, your person is very like. For some of you guys, your person um is an athlete. Does some type of athletic. Um, they have like some type of athletic skill. All right, for, for everyone else, I see here, like, definitely there's a lot of impulse here, a lot of passion. All right, your person is a very heated type of person, a person that has a lot of strength, a person that has a lot of, comp like, competitive nature, like, a person that just, like, doesn't give up. All right, this person likes to work out. This person is all about excitement. This person is all about, like, getting things done. This person is very impatient. All right, this person could have a very um, bad temper, 
all right they're all about leadership um they they have a very strong willpower all right and there's a lot of sex drive here this person is very very intense when it comes to sex like there's a lot of passion there's a lot of fire there's a lot of flames Ooh wee baby okay okay <laughs> all right but let's see what it comes to your person what do they feel so spirit ancient ancestors okay hold on spirit ancient ancestors you know very spiritual guys please come through and help me channel the message here for pal three and their person what does pal three's person feel for them at this time what is their current feelings the moon there is a lot of mystery here baby all right, there could have been or there could be some type of third party situation here or there's some type of interference here and there is a mystery with this interference. Yeah, your person has options. All right, so there's some type of confusion behind your person. There's a lot of confusion here. Your person is very, very confused. All right, yes, there is a lot of passion here. Yes, there's a lot of um, sexual desire. Yes, this person is like very impulsive when it comes to you. All right. And this person feels like you're very wise, you're very, you're very intelligent, you're, you have a lot of wisdom, all right? You're very evolved, you're very educated, all right? And they feel like you're very abundant, and with you, they will have a very abundant lifestyle, all right? Um, but they're very confused. This person's confused, there's competition. There's someone else in the picture, this is definitely like a third-party situation, all right, so if you're not in a third-party situation, maybe another pause for you, but this is a third-party situation. Your person is very confused about what to do, what to choose, all right? There's competition here, and there's a lot of conflicts behind this competition, all right? But your person sees you as their lover, all right? And they know what they want. As far as when it comes to you, is like they know what they want. They know they want you. They feel like a victim in this third-party situation, believe it or not. All right, um, there's a decision they have to make, and it's a big decision when it comes to you guys, all right? Right now, this person is not happy in their life. They're very sad. They're very down and out. I feel like this third-party situation is very karmic, all right? Yeah, very karmic. Hold on. A card fell on the floor. Oh, got it. All right, for some of you guys, um, this person is in another connection, or there is another connection here and what they feel is very lonely there's issues in this connection all right yeah I'm, this is screaming third party to me all right so there's some issues back home so, some issues with family some issues with this other connection it's very karmic and i see your person very lonely very much alone not happy with their life not happy in general this person wants to invest in you all right, the universe is pushing them. You guys could have had like a very salty ending where this person may have backstabbed you, but they're still watching you. They're still watching you via social media. All right. This person sees you as a very abundant person. You're very much focused on yourself. All right. You are a go getter. You're independent. You're ambitious. You're going after your dreams you're laying foundations and they see you you're doing very well for yourself and they're not happy with their life they feel like things haven't really gone the way they expected they want to make some major decisions here some major changes here in their life they want they want to cut things off that no longer serve them and open up new doors so it's like close a door to open up another door all right they feel like you may feel like they see your worth right they see that you're worth it, regardless whether you're female or male. They see that you're worth it. They see that you're wife, husband material, father, mother material. All right. They didn't give you what you deserved, basically is what they feel. And what they feel is that you're so pure at heart and they're very attracted to you and they see your worth and they want to give you what you're worth. And they feel like because they didn't give you what you were worth, that you may be feeling jealous at this time. Okay, but they do want to take a leap of faith here with you. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to like drop everything and like just go forward and just blindly go into this connection. All right, this person listens to music and thinks about you a lot. 
you really, really bring in a lot of happiness towards this person. All right. And what I'm seeing here is that your person is watching you. They're at a distance. They're not near you or around you. I see them isolated, but they're thinking about you tremendously, like a lot. All right. And what they're saying is like home. I'm coming home, baby. All right. So they see you as their home. They may have made a, a decision to be in a different connection or to give an opportunity to another connection and ended up in a very karmic connection. All right. And now they're just feeling like, well, I got to dead things here and open up a new door over there, you know. All right. So with you, they're seeing a golden path. They're seeing financial abundance with you and it's on the way. They see you growing. They see something amazing happening for you. They do. You made the right choices. I'm seeing here. And this person just really feels like a victim. Like they feel kind of sorry for themselves that they put themselves in this situation. They self-sabotage themselves. All right. And your song is Beyonce featuring Jay-Z, Drunk in Love. So it says, catch a charge, I might. Beat the box up like Mike in 97. I bite, I'm Ike Turner. Turn up, baby. No, I don't play. Now eat the cake, anime. Said, eat the cake, anime. I'm nice. For y'all to reach these heights, you gonna need G3, 4, 5, 6 flights. Sleep tight. <laughs> all right so your person is basically saying like for some of you guys this person has money all right and this person is very flashy and like you won't you 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 ain't gonna reach these heights all right but for everyone what i'm seeing is that your person is basically saying like whatever heights you and this person reach are really high up there all right and for people to reach like the level of energy you guys have shared or exchanged it it takes a lot like, it's not everybody or anybody that could reach those type of heights, all right? And um, they want to beat up your box, like Mike in 97. <laughs> they want to be very intimate with you, all right? I bite. They want to bite you like Ike Turner. Turn up, baby. <laughs> no, I don't play. All right, this person may play some video games or, like, anime, all right? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. All right, so... You got to take flight. So you got to, for some of you guys, you may have to travel to this person. You may have had to travel to this person or this person may have had to travel to you. Take flight. There could have been um, someone flying someone out here or just vacations or something like that. A distance I'm seeing for some people here. All right. So spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please tell me what would Paul 3's person like to say by now? Hmm. We're unfinished business. We're not done, sweetheart. We're not done. My friends like you. All right? Maybe they really like you. <laughs> nah, their friends like you. You're so beautiful, handsome to me. Let's agree to disagree and move on. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fight. They want to agree to disagree and move on. Okay? Okay. All right, guys, so now let's go into the Charmies. Let's see what the Charmies have to say. All right, so I am definitely going to do an extended. In the extended, I'm going to pull what you can expect next from this person, like all the juicy details as to what's coming your way with this person, more messages from this person, and messages from the universe for you, Pal 3. Okay, okay. The link for that is down below. I'll see you there if you join. All right. Anyway, we're doing charmies now. So if you're sensitive to noise, you may want to lower the volume. Okay? Ready, set, go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. Please come through and help me channel the charmies for a part three. You know what I'm hearing in my head? That song, we be all night. Oh, wait, that is a song. <laughs> I'm hearing the song that you guys got. Yeah, we be all night. Eh. All right, so you guys could have been like, I don't know if some of you guys have been very intimate here with this person. I see that you guys could have been all night at it. Okay. Eh. <laughs> Writing that surfboard. Surfboard. 
all right guys if you're new to my channel welcome how you doing my name is Jalissa, obviously <laughs> um uh if you like my content so far consider subscribing hitting the subscribe button bell button and commenting down below letting me know so i can say hi to you all right my ogs what's going on how you doing we're gonna do baby towel first and then we're gonna do initials all right so we got the four pentacles this person's holding on very dearly to you my loves all right they do see you as the queen of pentacles which is doesn't matter whether you're female or male they see your worth they see that you're worth it they see that you bring a lot to the table and they're very passionate about you all right they see you as wife mother father husband material all right this person feels like they are standing their grounds they need to fight for this connection and they're willing to do so they see you shining they see you getting some type of recognition you're doing your thing, all right? And this person, like I said, is passionate about you. Right now, they may be acting a little bit cold, a little bit standoffish, but it's all a facade, all right? So, initials. O, as in Oscar, October. Some of you guys could be born in October, or they could be born in October, all right? Oscar, um, F, as in Frank, Fernando, Francis, Frankie, Fredolin, Fernan... Flare. That's all we got for the initials? Dude. That's all we got for initials. Okay, I guess. Let's go into Charmies. This person really likes your fashion. They really like the way you dress. And they feel like you're one of a kind. Like, you're a special find. Like, they call, there's only one of you. It's like the pearl. You know, it's very unique. It's very rare. It's very expensive. And... You don't, there's there's no machine that makes this. It's, it's actually the clam or the whatever animal. Is it, is it a clam? Let me know in the in the comment section. You know, the clam or whatever it is that makes this pearl. All right. It's one of a kind. And it takes time to make this pearl. All right. So you could be shining. You could be looking good right now. And it's not like it happened overnight. You worked hard for where you're at right now. And for what is happening for you right now. And this person really admires you. All right, why as in yo-yo, Yolisa. All right, Yasika. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, so a family, a family's love is forever. All right, so family's a big deal here, guys. All right, and find joy in the journey. So spirit is really asking you to find joy in the journey. It may have been a tough journey for what I see, but just know that there is love here. There is love here. And children could be a factor in this connection, all right, for some of you guys. Um, their children, your children. All right, something significant is about to happen now in the fall for you and this person. This person finds you very beautiful, handsome, all right? And they feel like you're a warrior, all right? Like I said, you've been through a lot. You didn't just get to where you're at overnight. You had to put in a lot of work. And they admire your efforts, all right? This person dreams a lot about you, all right? There's a lot of dream space. This person was also wearing rose-colored glasses, so they weren't seeing things entirely for what they are, and now they are, all right? Live your dream. Spirit is asking you to follow your dreams. Live your dreams, baby. They're encouraging you, and they will support you, all right? This person, you you have opened up the... Oh, blah, 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 blah. You opened up this person's heart chakra, all right? You have the key to their heart. Spirit is asking you to manifest at this time. They really want you to manifest. It takes a big heart to teach little minds. You guys have a big, big heart. And your person sees you as a very caring person. You look out for people. You care for people. And what your person feels is like you've gone through a lot. And this is what has helped you to help others. And they really admire this, all right? Again, spirit wants you to manifest. There's a lot that they want to give you, all right? And this connection could have been moving very slowly. But with that turtle spirit, I feel like, you know... The turtle ends up winning the race, right? So there's no need to rush into what's forever, all right? So this person finds you beautiful, handsome, of course. And you're, like, evolving right now. Pal 3, you guys are evolving. You guys are evolving to a new level of life. And you guys are blossoming. People see you, all right? You guys are very beautiful. You guys, even when things are tough, things are rough, you guys still are full of energy, full of joy, full of bliss, all right? And I see vacations in the future for you guys, okay? There's a need for you to be brave. 
this person definitely finds you brave because they feel like you're a warrior again they dream a lot about you there's a lot of dream space here about you and you're evolving you're just there's a lot of wow three flowers yeah you guys are evolving you guys are like going into another level of another chapter into your life basically you're you're there's like this evolution or some type of i don't know if you see it coming or if you feel it coming but there's another step to your life that's coming in right now and you're about to shine bright like a diamond if you haven't already whoa all right live love laugh you could have this in your house or they could okay never never give up spirit is telling you to never give up on what you love never give up on what you care about all right you or your person could be a virgo and they feel that you're very practical all right you or your person could be a Taurus, and they feel that you're very trustworthy this could be your sign their sign or within your charts all right bless <laughs> all right guys so now i'm gonna go off to the extended where i'm gonna pull what's gonna happen next between you and this person um, I'm going to pull more messages from your person for you. And I'm also going to pull messages from the universe just for you, Pal3. So if you're interested in that, the link is down below. You're more than welcome to join me there. But if this is where we part ways, I love you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And um, give it a like if this resonated with you, please. This also helps the channel. I really appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, subscribe. Hit the bell button, comment down below. Let me know who you are so I can say hi. My OGs, you already know what time it is. I love you. Thank you for being here. And um, yes, I'm sending you love, light, and everything nice. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>